So eventually, as we noted before, as the power gets um, to a level, we, we get to a 1 dB compression point. And I want you to notice what's changed here is we've gone from the input power and the output power to talking in terms of the voltage. So now we've gone to 20 log of A, whereas the power would have been 10 log of the power gain. And um, we're going to try to calculate where this 1 dB compression point would be. All right, so let's take a look at this. If we have P out equals P in plus G. That's this linear line here. And if we want to find the 1 dB compression point, um, we just subtract 1. So we want to find the point where the P out is 1 dB below this. So if you remember the gain is simply alpha 1 plus 3 quarters, alpha 3. Actually, we, we rewrote that, and I'll do that to make it simpler. Alpha 1, 1 plus 3 quarters, alpha 3, over alpha 1 times A in squared. That is our voltage gain, if you remember. And we're going to want that to find out when it is um, equal in the power domain to g minus 1. Well, if I take 20 log of this, I'm going to get 20 log of alpha 1 plus 20 log of alpha, sorry, I'm going to get 20 log of 1 plus 3 quarters alpha 3 over alpha 1 a in squared, right? Remember, this is in the voltage domain, and this is in the dBm domain, right? And so I'm just taking the 20 log of V to get me into the power domain. And now what I can do is I can compare this with what I want, and I can see that this right here is G, right? because alpha, alpha 1 is the linear gain. And so I can simply set then 20 log of 1 plus 3 quarters alpha 3 over alpha 1 a in squared equals minus 1. Okay? And so let's just take that out. I'm going to end up with uh, 1 plus 3 quarters alpha 3 alpha 1 a in squared equals 10 to the minus 1 over 20. And then I can subtract 1. I can get rid of this on this side. And then I can multiply by, I'll just do this here, uh, 4 alpha 1 over 3 alpha 3 times 10 to the minus 1 20th minus 1. And I take the square root of that. And that is going to give me the voltage amplitude where my 1 dB compression point has. And you can see, we can write it simply in terms of alpha 1 and alpha 3. So if you're given the Taylor expansion of the voltage, right, voltage expression, you can calculate where the voltage would be um, and the power would be related to um, um, uh, that voltage. And if you do the math, you can calculate it out, and it then turns out that the uh, amplitude input for 1 dB compression is the square root of 0.145 times alpha 1 over alpha 3. All right, and that'll be an easy way for you to calculate this uh, in your homeworks and in your future life as RF designers.